Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here from 5 to go and we got a fantastic question on our Discord server from one of our Roadrunners, James, mm -hmm. and he asked, what are our worst and best travel days or moving days? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so I think that is a fantastic question, so we are going to answer it right now, but before we get to that, we want to hear from you guys. Yep. Leave us comments down below. What are some awesome travel days you've had? Like mm -hmm. great epic road trips, beautiful vistas, whatever you've roads, wherever you've taken your RV that's beautiful. It is. Uh, bad ones? Do you have any horror stories? Mm -hmm. Blown out tires, forgot to put the awning in, went the wrong way down a one way road, like Google wasn't your friend, low yeah. Low what bridge, it was. whatever it was, we want to hear those stories. Yep. And then as an extra bonus, I want you guys to tell me all of the terrible roads that you have driven on with your RV because <laughs> holy cow there's a lot of them yes yes <laughs> you know you know roads yes all across the country yeah tell us which ones to avoid okay so bad days bad days Aaron's travel go, days Aaron's gonna go first okay so I can think of one and it was more just anticipation of whether or not we would make it to the campground Okay. So we're going way back. <laughs> okay. Not this RV, not the RV before this, but truck when we trailer. had the truck and trailer, okay. we had an old truck. Oh, way back. Yes. Bruce. And yeah, Bruce, our silver truck. He was a 2004 Ford F250. F F yeah. Yes. And so it, he had issues. Um, and so uh, we didn't know we were going from sea level at Santa Barbara to get up above Santa Barbara to Rancho Oso, and yeah. we weren't sure if the truck was going to make it up all of the inclines towing the RV. Yeah. So if you uh, if you caught there was a 2004 F250 yep. diesel, you know if you know Fords, you know that six Not liter diesel year. is a fantastic engine, but under load, under lots of load, and under yeah. lots of miles. It needs to be bulletproofed. It had some cooling issues. So we got out to California that first year. That was like early 2018. Yeah. And it started puking coolant and having bad. issues. We actually uh, missed a couple things. I still have never been to Yosemite, um, Yosemite we couldn't because of that. Um, so yeah, that was that was tough. So it was like it was we, we got to the bottom day. of that and we looked up and we were like, Okay. <laughs> we can make we it. Made it. We up. can make it. And it's yeah. a difficult campground to get into. Yeah. We'll go into a review of it some other time. But yeah, yeah Rancho Oso above Santa Barbara. So yeah. that was just a stressful day okay. of trying to get up there. Yeah. Yeah. So mine uh, is not in this RV either because this RV has been great so far. <laughs> Previous RV, the Bounder, last year, yeah. uh, we were going from Bryce Canyon mm -hmm. down to Zion. Okay. Which means Southwest Utah. So Bryce Canyon is in from the interstate a little bit. The road from Bryce Canyon down to Zion is the interstate. And normally interstates are great. I mean, right. Utah, Colorado, interstates can, you know, do this. Mm -hmm. And in a gas motorhome, that can be a little stressful, but right. we never had issues. Mm -hmm. uh, but this day, there were 40, 45 mile an hour crosswinds steady for dozens of miles. Oh, it yeah. was horrendous I, I, I felt like I was steering a boat down the road like tractor trailers were doing this yeah, and just yeah. and it wasn't just because I was in a bounder like a lighter kind of taller gas motor home right our friends Jeff and Jordan were with us and they had a big heavy diesel pusher about the same size and mm -hmm. weight as this and they were going all over the road too right. so it was it, that was a hard man. one to watch because yeah. I was following behind in the jeep we decided to unhook and I was watching everybody just kind of weave yeah. and everything because of the wind and it was yeah and that's one of those things where uh, looking back on it i wonder if leaving the jeep attached would have made it better oh just like an like, anchor yeah if it would have been like a heavy like an extra 4500 pounds on a twenty thousand pound rv just, yeah if that would have helped or if it would have been an extra like push or point of articulation Hard to know. it was yeah but that's the jeep's man, not very wind yeah. resistant <laughs> and, and the only reason we drove that like we knew it was windy like there were wind advisories there mm. were wind reports there was all that stuff but the problem is is if we didn't drive it that morning we would have been stuck where we were for like two or three days because it was just like the storm front coming through yeah. so it was like go now or you don't or go. you don't go for a while right. and that would have really screwed up our plans so that yeah. was absolutely my worst day okay. that was terrible stressful day indeed. and speaking of terrible things uh -oh. you got you, another one? have you laid on the mattress in your rv yet like have you bought a new one have you slept on it yet do you know 
This, what I'm getting at here is mattresses <laughs> that come with RVs from the factory. Oh, are, are terrible. Bad. They're, They're so, so bad. bad. So oh, we have partnered man. with so, RVmattress.com yep. to yep. give you guys 25% off Ooh. of a brand new mattress. That's nice. And these guys are awesome. They, they have are. a 120 night sleep guarantee. So sleep you trial. can sleep on yeah. it, sleep trial. You can sleep on your new mattress for 120 nights. Like four nine, four months. And if you don't like it, you can send it back. Full refund. And free shipping, which is awesome. And there's a 10 year warranty on the mattress. Mm -hmm. So if anything happens to it, it starts to wear out, the side crunches down, the center dips down, something happens, manufacturer defect, whatever. 10 years, that's a Ten long years. time. That's a lot of nights. That's mm -hmm. 3,650 nights, plus two leap years, probably, maybe three. <laughs> You're digging really deep into this one. I'm digging deep. So we have a signature hybrid firm with the pillow top. Yes. The pillow top is a little bit cooling, which I love because I sleep hot. And it's She's cold been bundling up. for me, which is <laughs> fine. I don't mind sleeping with wool socks and sweatpants and long sleeves, but it is definitely cooling because yeah. I have been chilly at night. But super comfortable. Yes, very, super very comfortable. comfortable. And we did get the pillow top because I sleep on my side. Yeah. And so I did those pressure points like at your hip and your shoulder and fluffy. stuff. It's a little yeah. fluffier, but then there's that support underneath it. So we've yep. had it for about a week. We've had it a week today, yeah. And yep. it's definitely a better night's sleep than we were having on the mattress that was on there before. Yep. So um, so we are actually doing a 120 day trial as well. Because yep, we're we going are. to be back with you guys in three or four months mm -hmm. to let you know our thoughts after sleeping on it for a lot longer. Yes. Because we've only been on for a week. Right. So who knows? Could go either way. I think I know which way it's going to go because it's a great product. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. if you want 25% off, which is a lot yes. on a mattress, go to this URL down below mm -hmm. or click on the one in the description. And that will take you over to their site where you can go through their configurator, configuration. Oh yeah, use another thing. You yeah. can pick all the like cool sizes. RV sizes. Yeah, they have all oh, yeah. weird sizes. They have short queens, and long kings, RV kings, kings bunks. bunk sizes, odd yeah. twins. Like I, they have everything. Yeah. So check it out. URL down below. Twenty five percent off. Mm -hmm. Free shipping. Ten year warranty. One hundred twenty nights sleep. You you know it all, right? You heard it. Yeah. All right. Go now moving on. Best drives. Best travel days. Mm -hmm. So I've been thinking about this. Mm -hmm. And mine are always like the old RV. I don't know why. Maybe I'm nostalgic <laughs> for tiny people with us, but oh. maybe that's it. Yeah, we don't have tiny people anymore. No, all the kids are like <laughs> big now. But when we were in the trailer and we were on our first trip around, mm -hmm. we... 2018. 2018. We went to a place on a travel day. So okay. we got to take the RV with us. Mm -hmm. with all of the kids stuff and the dog and all of that stuff and we went when it was still a national monument we went mm -hmm. to white sands yes that was great and we just drove right in there with the rv we went in we pulled around right next to one of the dunes we played all day somebody gave us a sled it was great with the kids had to go to the bathroom they just went in the rv they wanted snacks we just went in the rv it was a great day we also yeah. did another day kind of like that when we were coming towards the Grand Canyon, we stopped at oh, yeah. we Navajo drove, we drove, oh, National that's Monument. Right. Okay. Yep. Yep. And we drove right in there and we were able to park right next to the um, the hiking trails to go down to the Navajo uh, National Monument and see like the cave dwellings and stuff. And that was a cool day too. Cause was we, that the day we were going to Grand Canyon? And that's what I said. Because we stopped yeah. at the... I did, that was Navajo, but we also stopped. Oh, we also stopped at the at north the, the or the tower. Yeah, the tower. Eastern uh, Visitor Center area in Grand Canyon mm -hmm. National Park with the RV because right. they have huge RV spots in yes. that parking lot. We did do that. So too. we did both of those on the same day. We did. Wow. That I was love, a good day. yeah, I love a travel day when we can like stop and see stuff and then go. Like it yeah. was just nice to bring our house with us. Yeah, and <laughs> it's a lot less fuss too, right? Because like, like if someone needs to change clothes or you don't we have, have them, shoes yeah, or it's just, someone needs a snack, go to the bathroom. Take and that's a nap, when the whatever. babies were little. Like yeah. they were one in three when yeah. we were there. Um, and so that yeah. was nice to have our home with us. It was. That was great. Um, Surprise! So I have a very similar, but we have another day where you did that. But yeah, I, okay. I have later that same year, same RV. We had been camping at Devil's Tower mm -hmm. in the campground with the river, like, and it was yep. super cool because you could see it right out the window. That was awesome. Beautiful, pretty much empty campground. But the, when we left there, mm -hmm. we left from Devil's Tower like early in the morning. Mm -hmm. We went up to Teddy Roosevelt National Park. Yep. 
and a bunch of hikes are at one of the rest stops on the interstate that goes across North, North Dakota. Dakota yeah. It's either Rainbow Canyon or um, something like that, where there's trails from this mm -hmm. rest stop with huge parking lots. Right down through the canyons and all of that and you we just went and we hiked, hiked down through the rv was parked up top and vector had ac and it was lovely mm -hmm. um and then later that same day we went down to the other visitor center because the one we stopped at we didn't have our stickers yeah maybe the oval sticker yeah so we went to the other visitor center same day and we got our stickers and checked stuff out down there mm -hmm. and then we went to bismarck where we thought we, we were thought we were going to stay at a Cracker Barrel. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we had dinner and mm -hmm. we came out around nine o'clock and the RV was super on level because that parking lot sucked. <laughs> and I remember we were like right underneath the the big sign that you could see from the highway. Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So we came out at nine o'clock. Rig was all on level and I was wide awake because I had had like four or five cups of coffee and I Aaron was wide good. awake. Like we were just having a good day. Mm -hmm. It was a really good travel day. And the kids were sleepy. Which kids were nice sleepy. Combination. So we were like, huh, the kids are sleepy. We're not. And we can just try. Yeah. And then there was a huge storm. Like, oh yeah. Looking down to the south, there's just a monster storm that was going to come rolling up over the city while we were there overnight. Mm -hmm. And we were like, let's just drive we'll just try so we got back in the rig kids fell asleep in the back and we just of the of the truck yeah the back <laughs> of the truck yeah and we just boogied on east mm -hmm. all the way to fargo and we were listening to order of the phoenix was it the harry potter yeah we were yeah, listening to books. harry potter yeah. Harry, yeah we got to fargo yeah so we made it all the way to fargo so yep. we went from devil's tower to teddy roosevelt national park to bismarck to bismarck to fargo yep it was a long day i like I like long days sometimes. If it's good conditions yeah, to yeah. be long days. But yeah. when you're in that mindset, I think that to me is like peak RVing for me. Mm -hmm. Those days when you don't have a set schedule and yeah, you know, know you're you not like, I have to be to this campground because you know the office closes at mm -hmm. eight or whatever. Like you just roll into somewhere to sleep for the night and then get up in the morning and keep going. Yeah. I love those days. Those are good days. I, can I add like a little extra one that's kind of know. like a travel day? But I don't know. The last two Januaries, we did um, kind of like a little oh. caravan esque to the Tampa RV show with, with our road runners. Well, okay, yes. so it's a rally. Yeah. But we but we caravaned there because you have to arrive at the same time. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And so we we had to meet and we had to coordinate with like ten other rigs to figure out where we're going to meet to to drive like 40 minutes down the road. Like that was all we needed to go together. And so we had logistics of that. But you have to get there at a specific time. Right. You have to get there roughly at the same time as everybody else in your group. Yes. And they're coming from three different directions. And so that was fun. I, I like the logistics <laughs> of that, but this year we got there and we had to like wait because they right. weren't ready for yeah. us. There was a little snafu with time. some electricity and all these other kind and of things going on. stuck in the dirt. It yeah. was a lot of stuff. But we all got there together and we had to to wait, I don't know, for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, but we all got out of our rigs and we were able to stand around and talk and it was just like, it was, it was wonderful. It was like, community. out of this thing that was an inconvenience, we were able to have a great time and so I liked that travel day even though it was hectic because we were with our friends and it was just, it was fun and nice and I liked that kind of stuff. The kids yeah. got to, you know, have a little downtime before we got all set up with the, <laughs> the other kids in the and was, caravan and that actually, valley. Similar to what I was just talking about, that was another day that we didn't have like a, once the, there was a lot of pressure for everybody to arrive at a certain time, yes. at a certain place. But once we were all started. there and in line and waiting, all the pressure was off. We were there. It was, we were there. All we had to do was when they were ready for us, drive around and park yep. and then, you know, plug in and that was it. Yeah. Like there was nothing else scheduled for that day. There we was nothing else out. going on. We were just hanging out. That was that was fantastic, and we will be doing it again. Yeah, so if you want to come this next January, so if you want to join us at the Tampa RV Show Super oh, Super Rally, on. it's the Florida RV Super Show in Tampa, but it's the Super Rally. The naming is all weird. It's if you want to go with us, yeah, all you have to do is join the Roadrunners and yeah. be in Tampa in January. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's all you have to do. I think and we it's find out about stuff fun. in October, right? So yeah, around late, mid to late October yeah, is when the months. registration opens up. Yep. So join now. Check out the back catalog of all the random exclusive stuff that the Roadrunners get. Yep. Join us on Discord in our private RV or private Roadrunner channels yeah. that only Roadrunners have access yeah. to. And you should be on Discord anyway, yeah, right? Come to They're the already Discord. on Discord. 
Yeah. Is everybody there? Everybody's on Discord. On Discord. It's you free. You just get on. Yeah. We chat with people about RV stuff. It's fun. Yeah, it's a couple thousand RV per, yeah. RV people. Yeah, and RVers. everybody's nice. Yeah, it's just good people. It's a great yeah. place. Yeah, so come chat with us. We're yeah. there every day. Join the Rotors if you want to do more exclusive things. And come with us on trips and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's anything else to talk about. Bad well, days, good days, mattresses. Don't forget to tell us stuff. yours because I want to <laughs> read all about your good days and bad days and how things had happened to you on your travels in your RV. Yeah. Tell me all the beautiful places you went and don't forget to talk to us about the roads. Yes, um, I want to hear some bad roads because I know two of them stick out in my mind. I'm yes. curious how many of you will say We're going to do another days. video about roads. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's an exhilarating topic. Yes, it is. Well, it is if you're the one driving them, I True. think. True, yes. So, yeah, stay right. tuned. We're going to be talking about our our late summer and fall later on. And um, yep. stay tuned for all that stuff. And all right. Talk to you later. Thank you, guys. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.